We're gonna have a good time. Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at the Illusia D. Uh, this is a mod by Fakir's Mods in Turkey. Uh, now, I'll, I'll save all the good stuff for the up close because this is oh, it's so pretty. Uh, but uh, one thing I will mention is that previously all the mods were shipped from Turkey, uh, which meant ourselves uh, or, or myself in the UK would get hit with customs fees. Um, they now have a shipping office in Bulgaria so you should not get hammered by customs fees if you're ordering direct from Fakirs. But as always they do have uh, official resellers uh, across the globe. Uh, but I thought I would mention that at the start. Now the mod, uh, the Illusion D is, well the, the last one I reviewed for them was the Mech this guy here. Now, how awesome would it be if we had this 21700, 2700, 18650, but it was also regulated. So usual packaging from the guys, Fakir's Mods, I do like this. Take the sleeve off, magnetic cover on the front, lift that up, we have a little card, and underneath the card, we have one mod. Now they do give you battery direction on here and tell you what batteries you can use. Obviously being 21700, 2700 and 18650, you do have two different battery caps. Also on the other side, they do give you instructions on you know where to go to read the, the BF60 die codes manual. Now look at this. Now this was the mech. This is a mech, the, the Illusion mech. Once again, 21700, 2700, 18650. Just a mech. This is the Illusion D. Exact same batteries, 21700, 2700, 18650, but it's got die codes in there as well. It's regulated. And it's almost, I think it's actually smaller. Um, how they did it, I don't know, but uh, they've, they've, yeah, they've, they've gone to town on this. They really have. I, I'm quite a fan. Uh, now I, I do love the you know the Turkish barrel that goes on here. Uh, ever since my old Anatolian mods, I've always loved this wood, and it looks absolutely stunning on this mod. So you've got the wood going on here. It's all 316 stainless steel. I'll point that out as well. Uh, we also have etching here on the buttons. So we have fakirs written down here, and we have this. Uh, this looks like a. I should have asked what this is. Now I'm going to say it's it's. It's going to be something related to Turkey. It looks like a bird. And, and, and you know, there's going to be hundreds of comments of people saying, how could you not know that that was such and such? Well, at this moment in time, I don't know what it is. So you can tell me in the comments. But even at that, I mean, the machining's really, really nice on it. It's done well. Uh, you know, going around this whole mod, you know, we've got the, the BF60 on the bottom here. Uh, it's, yes. It's done well, it really is. Now the cap here, we have the Illusia cap up here and uh, you know, you can unscrew this. This is the 21700 cap, which obviously is going to be a bit taller. Here we have the, the 18650 one and if we pop that down, it, it does make, you know, a little bit shorter. It's going to go down as far as that. You can see you've still got venting going around here as well. It is, um, it's not as polished a finish, it's more like a brushed finish almost on this, or a matte finish. You could see on my, my other one here, it had like a polished finish on it. Uh, it is, yeah, a bit more bit more brushed. The fit and fitment on the wood there, you can see around there, no gaps at all. No imperfections, it's, it's just, yeah, it's bang on. It, it really is bang on. And uh, I've had this in bits, you know, the soldering and everything inside is okay. You know, I've had these off, pulled the top cap off, pulled the 510 off. I was able to take this assembly here off uh, and had a look inside. Uh, th the reason for that was there was a slight issue with my 510 when it arrived. Um, and yeah, but uh, it was quite an easy fix. So it saved me send sending it back. I will stress, however, that I contacted the guys to let them know that I did have an issue when it arrived. They just said, we're going to send you a brand new one straight away. Obviously, uh, because I'm nosy and uh, I can't resist taking things to bits, uh, I saw what it was and uh, I was able to fix it so they didn't have to send out a new one. But I will say the customer service is top notch and obviously you're not having to return things to Turkey. It can go back to Bulgaria. Uh, we're going to pop in a 21700 here and it just goes down, positive first like that and then take the top cap, screw her down, 
And there we go. 21700. Now as far as atties go, you will get a 25mm atty on here. And you can see there that it's got a, a copper 510. It is spring loaded. Uh, when I say you'll get a 25, yes you will. But uh, remember it has to be 25 all the way up. If it's got any bits that stick out or anything like that, it will get caught in the back here. So 25mm outer diameter. That's it. Height wise you're looking at varies from 80 to 85 millimeters uh, depending on which cap you are using. Across here you're looking about eh, just under 55 um, but uh, once again I want to highlight when you look at the, the mech version they've actually got the regulated version a little bit smaller. So yeah this is quite a comfy little mod to vape with this. And the whole side by side thing is uh, you know it seems to be coming back in vogue. As far as your atty heights go, uh, from here to here, you're looking about 30 millimeters in height. So just for an example, if I take something, so here's a, an Integra, you can see, you know, this is still protruding past this battery cap here. We've got a sky drop from eSmoke Guru. Still no problem there. Remember, you'll have even more clearance if you're using the 18650 cap, it'll sit lower. There's a slightly smaller one. This is the Project X mouth to lung by Hussar Vapes. You can see that, it, yeah, you kind of need that little extended drip tip there just to make it a bit more comfortable. And I know I should be using a Fakir's Mods atomizer to highlight this, but it's still in the box just now. I haven't started testing it. Something else I'm vaping with, this is the, the MD by Hell Vape. It's a 24 millimeter RDA and our RTA, I should say, and that gives you an idea how that's going to fit on there. Uh, one thing to bear in mind is that uh, you cannot adjust the 510 uh, manually, so you know you could end up with your air hole facing in the way. Um, I've not had any issues restricting airflow, but possibly with a 25 mil, uh, if you know if you're going for a more direct lung and it's wedged right in at the back here then it might restrict the airflow a little bit but uh, it's something to be aware of. Now obviously we have uh, our firing button here, we have our you know our up and down select buttons here and we have the die codes board going on here, the BF60. Uh, I'll, do you know I'm not a huge fan of using the menu system on the BF60. Uh, I, I will say however that the uh, when you spend time with it, and when I say when it's just say it's your only mod, uh, it does get a lot easier to get about, and I do find the interface is a lot lot better than some of the older ones when it was just a single button. Even if you just spend, I don't know, half an hour sitting with the the mod and the actual menu system on your computer screen, you know the instruction manual, you'll find it easy enough to get around. Just pushing the button here. And you know that's my standard screen with all the basic information coming up. Fire away. There we go. So just pushing a, an up or down button here, then you can see that I am cycling through all the different screens, and and that's all there really is. So let's just say you want to change your power. If I let it go there, you can see that then I can then put the power up and down. Waiting for something to highlight is key on the die codes. So just leave it alone or I could push the fire button and that's it, it's accepted and I can fire away. It still reminds me of uh, operating an old 1980s uh, Betamax video recorder but that's just my personal opinion. You cannot fault the performance on a Dicos board though, you really can't, they're, they're very, very good. Uh, right, so uh, Hellvape MD uh, RTA on there just now, I am at 28 watts and uh, we'll have a vape. Now this is um, left-handed, right-handed because you know the firing button's square on the front there. You've got that beautiful wood that's just going to sit in the cusp of your hand. It's an extremely comfortable mod to vape with. It really is. And I mean, I've got big paws and. It's maybe just on the smaller side for me, but I, I still find it really comfortable. The only, the, the button is small. That's the only thing I'm going to say. Um, the button is on, on the small side. It's not a, a, you know, when I hold it like this, it, it is firing every single time, but it's, you don't so much as feel the button uh, it, because it, it does sit kind of flush there. 
I'm bumping my gums over nothing here. There's part of me that almost wishes it was just a little bit wider, sat a little bit more proud. I can guarantee if it did and I was doing this review, I would, I would be saying, I wish it sat a little bit flusher and it wasn't quite so big. It looks, it looks stunning. It, it really does look really nice and, and I love this etching here and just the simple tactile buttons. Um, obviously you have your screen in the bottom. There are drawbacks to that because you're, you know, you're, you're, you're holding your, your mod like this and pushing buttons. There, There is that drawback, you can't get away from it. But uh, given the size of the device, the batteries it takes, it's something I can live with. Now the price on this is 390 euros. And I'm pretty sure that includes free shipping if you order direct from the shop. Uh, it's negatives. I have to have negatives. Uh, cons. There has to be cons. Um, now, uh, <laughs> cons. Uh, the button. I mentioned the button. There's nothing wrong with the button. It, it's, it's just me being a, a dick. Um, there's, I, I wish, even though it comes with a card where it states battery direction, I do wish it still had on the inside of the cap. It's a simple little thing to do. It really is. Uh, if they just stamped a, a plus or a minus inside the cap, just so you could check it, you know, without having, you know, if you have more than one mod, you tend to forget the direction sometimes. So it was just, it's a simple little thing to do. It would keep an old man like me very happy. Depending on the size of your battery, your font, your text on the cap is always going to be at a different direction. This, I'm I'm so nitpicking here. I'm stretching. I really am stretching. Uh, the presentation's bang on. It comes with a link for the manual. Um, it's, I don't see um, an option for a polished finish, you know, like this, you know, this was more like a polished finish. This is more like a brushed. Uh, maybe people would like a polished version instead of this. Uh, I'm, I'm just looking for stuff that isn't really there, to be honest. Uh, I will say once again, uh, customer service wise with these guys, if you do have any issues, they are very, very quick to respond and they do not mess about. So I'll give them a thumbs up on that as well. I'll have another vape here. Obviously, it's a 25 millimeter RDAs, RTAs only. Uh, you do have that thing. Once again, if you have a 25 mil RTA, r remember you cannot adjust the fact. A lot of side by side mods have adjustable 510s. Uh, the reason for that is that you can then set, you know, where the air hole is going to be. It's not going to be facing the back. On this, you do not have that. So it, it's just something to be aware of. I do like the fact, for, for me, I like, you know, obviously you get a lot of really tall tanks. Um, you know, they may not look quite as good in this. Um, I do have, let me find another side by side here. Here we go. This is the uh, Sunbox. Now this Sunbox side by side is perfect for big tanks, tall tanks, because, you know, this sits so far down. This one doesn't sit quite as far down. So this is perfect for your, like your, your two, three and a half mil type RTAs. Bigger ones, maybe not so much. Here's a Reaper V3 with the tank extended. Uh, so you get an idea of that side. Once again, this is still comfortable to vape with, but uh, you get an idea on the height. And I think I've, I've shown you plenty of tanks with it, but uh, I just wanted to explain the, you know, bigger tanks. There's no battery rattle. 2700, 21700, the 18650. Uh, no rattle at all. You know, just screwing the cap down takes the rattle, any kind of rattle out of it. Uh, they, they, these guys have come a long way. Was it 2013 they started? Uh, I really do like them. They've done a lot of good stuff in the past and this is, I think this is the nicest thing they have done so far. The Illusia D by Fakir's Mods. Thank you to the, the guys at Fakir's for sending this on. To you guys as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, and until next time, bye for now.